every now and then in science, we might have the right observation, but the wrong theory. For example, we see the sun move across our sky in a regular 24-hour pattern. The observation is correct, but the theory that explained that observation for many years, that the Earth is the center of the universe, is not. In 1911, physicists observed that at very low temperatures in certain metals, electrical resistance suddenly and completely disappeared, a phenomenon called superconductivity. For years, brilliant scientists like Albert Einstein and Richard Feynman tried to explain superconductivity with new theories, all of which turned out to be wrong. But the observation stood. Metals really do become superconductors at low temperatures. In 1957, 46 years after the original discovery, three scientists finally figured out what was going on. And it forever changed our understanding of matter. Coming back to our day-to-day -day lives, that observation that something changes as groups grow large has been known for a long time. The observation is right, but the question of why has remained for a long time. A few years ago, a British anthropologist named Robin Dunbar, an expert in the behavior of monkeys, suggested a new theory to explain that observation. After studying monkey brains, he suggested that the number of interpersonal relationships we can have is limited by the number of neurons in our brain. And he estimated the number of those relationships to be roughly 150 for humans. That idea, this sort of magic number 150 in relationships, went viral. But the theory raised a lot of questions. The connection between the number of neurons and human behavior is dubious at best. An alternative explanation behind the magic number is that it's the equivalent of 32 degrees Fahrenheit, but for organizations. The mathematics shows that for some organizations, but not all, the sudden shift in incentives from favoring a focus on loon shots to favoring a focus on careers happens right around the time it reaches 150 people. The bonus with this new theory is that it shows us how to change that magic number. In other words, how to design more innovative teams and groups.